we've seen this week that uh, solicitors and barristers mm. uh, are protesting about the cuts in uh, legal aid. You um, just recently did a, a blog uh, item for uh, the university's uh, current affairs blog on this very subject. Mm. Uh, wh where do you stand on it? Uh, yeah, well, how do you feel about it? Access to justice is a key part, part of the law. Um, it's a key cornerstone of the legal system. Um, when you've got people like the president of the Supreme Court, the most, the highest judge in the land, talking about the, the problems that are faced with legal aid cuts and how people who can't afford will have no access to justice and no access to the court system, and you know that we are in difficulties with the current legal aid cuts that are being made. And um, we've seen since April last year, after LASPO, the Legal Aid Sentencing and Punishment of Offenders Act came in, um, huge, huge reductions in civil legal aid being provided. For example, with family law, um, you've got a position now where really the only people who have access to any kind of legal aid solicitor will be those who are suffering from domestic violence. Uh, there's also the added point of having to prove they're suffering from domestic violence, which creates even more problems. But put, to put that aside, um, the slashing to a civil legal aid budget has just meant that your normal person um, on a low income just will have no, or, or without a job, just will have no access to the court system. Um, we've, we've looked at, over the years, an increasing number of statutes passed through Parliament which have made the, the law incredibly more complicated and incredibly less accessible to the ordinary person to understand what they've got to do. And as a consequence, as, as Lord Newberger himself said, you're going to find people who, have no, with no access to justice, will take the law into their own hands. Ironically, um, the University of Huddersfield uh, has just opened its uh, legal advice centre, which mm. is a unique centre yes. in itself. Yeah. Um, mainly because I believe it's opening in, it's not on the campus, it's in the town centre. Yeah. Just, just tell us a little bit about um, you know, the, the advice centre. As I understand mm. it, it's designed for people like, yeah. um, you know, who cannot afford. Yeah. Well, the, uh, there, used to be a, there used to be a gap between those who could get legal aid and those who could afford legal aid. With the reduction to civil legal aid and the criminal legal aid budget, it's now a chasm. Um, there's so many people that fall within that and that, these are the people that we're wanting to help within the legal advice clinic. We're aiming to help those who cannot get legal aid and get any other type of funding and those who cannot afford to pay for a solicitor. Um, we found within the um, le legal advice clinic for the demand out there has been incredible. In fact, we opened our doors last October and within two weeks we were fully booked up mm -hmm. with appointments until Christmas. Um, we are, as you've said, based in the town centre and that's a deliberate um, intention on our part because whilst a lot of legal advice clinics, university legal advice clinics are based on campus, we and the stu myself and the students recognise that these type of people who we're wishing to serve, those who cannot afford to pay for a solicitor, don't feel comfortable walking onto a university campus and, and, and getting advice and help on a university campus. And rather than sitting in our ivory tower on the universe, in the university, we've gone out there, we're based in a shopping centre, um, across from a pound shop and two doors up from Greg's, which, you know, where people will feel comfortable coming in and uh, what, what seeking would you our say assistance. To, what would you say to, to people uh, because obviously the, the people that um, uh, you know uh, they'll be meeting, that is the general public mm. will be meeting in the advice centre, uh, will be students. Uh, there's always that, oh well they're not fully trained mm. yet, uh, you know, what, what would you say to people, you know, to encourage them to come along? And obviously yeah. they have been coming. Yeah, uh, we have been coming along, in fact we opened our doors two days ago and I think we've got ten appointments already, so mm. you, people are coming in because, because these people are desperate. Mm. These people cannot get legal advice anywhere else. We do not want to be in a position where people have to come and get legal advice of students. That's unfortunately the position we're in, where there's so little help out there for people that they have to come to us. That said, these students and the advice that they provide at the end of two weeks after the interview is absolutely incredible. We've seen four or five pages worth of advice, some of the best advice I've, I've seen. And the students the amount of work they put in off their own back and let's be clear this is an extracurricular activity the students are doing this off their own back mm. and in fact the students want to do it off their own back as an extracurricular activity because they think it's so important and they don't want people just coming on to it because you know you get exam grades for it or you know module grades for it but the 
the amount of hard work and the amount of passion these students have to try and help people out there is the Legal Advice Clinic provides an incredible vessel for this to be um, pushed through for the students and for the students really, really do get something out of this at the end. Do you see it growing from here? I can't see it shrinking because the demand out there is so, so big. Um, certainly, we do. I mean, we've looking, um, I've had it vol validated as an options module um, on our law degree. Uh, the reason for this is so that those who volunteer and come into it as an extracurricular in our year two can then get, at least get some credit for doing it. They still have to go through our competency assessment centre. The competency assessment centre is something where the students have to apply to come into the legal advice clinic as student advisors. They're then shortlisted and have to go through a competency assessment centre which involves being interviewing a client in a mock scenario, providing a summary of a mock scenario and what they recommend that happens and what they do and then um, at the end given three ethical dilemmas which they have to try and solve. So the students that we're using are students who have been through a complete transparent system and the, the best students that we can find to go out there to give members of the public the advice on the help that they need. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.